So there's a man here with some flyer missions. Let's do one of them. This guy. I can't sell upgrades if I can. Yeah, yeah, we know that. What? Oh, you. You're the one with the flyer, aren't you? Uh, forgive my impertinence, but do you own that flyer, perhaps? I am Hingu, a mechanic and a businessman. I supply upgrades to people fortunate enough to have flyers. However, I have had some trouble attaining parts of late. My previous associate went on a trip to retrieve valuable parts and never returned. I need someone brave, someone who is a capable pilot. The missions I have are dangerous, but the rewards are worth it. I will pay you good silver, and I can sell you parts for your flyer, uh, to make it better. What? Make it better? This is the finest ship of its kind. I should know. I made it. You're just a fix-it man. What would you know about ships? I have been working on flyers since they first started appearing in the Empire. I take these rickety contraptions and make them into something amazing. Rickety? There has never been a flyer more solid than the marvelous dragonfly. Rickety. Your wits are the only thing rickety around here. I have some supplies in the North Provinces that I need to pick up immediately. We've had trouble with bandits up there, so it might be tricky. If you could bring me those supplies, I'd have the parts necessary to upgrade your flyer. What do you say? Very good. Here's your wind map. It'll show you where to go. I'll also pay extra if you get rid of those bandits plaguing the area. So, Hingu's missions are actually kinda hard. Uh, they're a lot easier to die in, there's a lot more enemies to kill. But, you know, they are pretty good because they unlock more upgrades for the flyer, so we're gonna wanna do them. As you can see, this is just a complete just mess of dudes everywhere. But Shrieking Fury is really handy for taking him out. Also, have I showed Cloudburst? I forget. But it's basically a bomb. It's not too good on this mission, though, because, well, it's not as good as bombs usually are in these shmups. Yeah, not a lot to say in these, is there? Well, I can talk about the gun. Uh, there is no level 4 up here for the gun. Getting another when you have it to, like, the three-shot burst just puts it back to the rapid fire. So, yeah. That kind of sucks. I wish there was, there was more to that, but whatever. We're pretty much done with the mission. Yeah. You have returned, and in one piece, I see. Not bad. You brought back the supplies and you took out a few bandits on your way. You can have a little bit extra for that. There were some great flyer parts among those supplies. Would you like to have a look at them? Or if you'd prefer, I could tell you about another mission I have for you. Yes, of course. I have some very interesting items now. So, Hingu sells a fuel for the furnace. Let's pick that up along with a new power for our ship, Tremor. Be sure to show that off the next time we have a mission from him. And now we can handle the configuration of the snake. So, why don't we just take care of that as well? I don't really see any reason not to, so... Let's go back to the furnace. But first... Let's just... Ah. Hmm, you're a princess, eh? You don't look like any nobility I've ever seen. And what, pray tell, does nobility look like to a wine-soaked sot like you? 
wide-eyed and terror-stricken when I kick in their doors. But I guess that's why you live in a palace in the sky. Not so easy to break those doors down. If I felt the need to prove my ability, he'd be dead. My kind does not consider his kind at all. <laughs> I think we both know that isn't true, your highness. But you've impressed me enough with your skills that I won't force the issue. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I am eager to return there. It is a masterful array of artful mechanics, despite being a bit overly polished. This Lord Lao, he could use a bit of restraint. Certainly, it's just a flick of a switch, and I'm reasonably sure the trip isn't even doing any irreparable harm. Okay, so the configuration of the snake ain't too hard to make. Um, he's got to use, not the wheel, you got to use uh, this guy here, the chimney. Then you got to use the conductor. I didn't even press the button. Uh, and finally, the cauldron. I missed the biggest one, of course. All right, let's just slap that fuel in there and uh, get this done. All right, now just want to pull the tiger button. Pull the button, yeah, that's how that works. And there we go, calm as the morning breeze. It's another configuration down. Could make more if I actually felt like buying the fuels, because we have a guy that sells them. A merchant that I never talked to. I was reminded that by a commenter, thank you. But I just... Uh, eh. Let's just do this a little slower, you know? Let's just burst through all the configurations at once. The ones that we have, anyway. Ah, yes. It's pretty good. Mine plus five. Yeah. Well, we're done here, so we can get out of here now. Hey, what do you think about all this nonsense, huh, Silkbox? Hello again. I enjoy our little chats, but I don't think anything has changed since we last spoke. I still need evidence against Death's hand to free my father. Meet the executioner in the arena, or speak with Scholar Dung Gao in the Scholar's Garden about... I wish you luck. Wow, she does not care. Like, at all. Hmm. Eh, this isn't fantastical or anything, right? Eh. <laughs> uh, well, let's skedaddle. A most intriguing place. Very well. In the meantime, I will try to see if I can learn anything more about this interesting machine. I can always bring us back here later. So, our party members have got lots of things to say. And that'll be in the other half of this particular update, I guess. See you then. Actually, as long as I'm not talking in it. Take care.